Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. Father, I ask right now that you just cover me. I pray that every word that I speak this morning is an echo of heaven, Father God, that it's simply from your belly, Father God, and from your mouth this morning, Father, for your people. So, Father, I surrender my will and my ways to you right now. I'm asking that your fire take over me right now, Father God, that your fire and your glory take over me right now, Father God, so that when I speak these things, the change happens, Father God. So I thank you once again, Father God, for seeing us fit to, to be just the mouthpieces of you, Father. Yes. When the world looked at us and said we weren't good enough, Father God, you, you, you pulled us out, Father God, and said, I can use you. So, Father, we thank you this morning for opportunity. Yes. We thank you this morning, Father, for love. We thank you this morning, Father, for grace and mercy, Father God. We thank you for everything this morning. So, Father, I humble myself, saying, have your way. In your son, Jesus' name, amen. 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 Let the church say amen. 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 Hallelujah. I'm excited this morning, and I was, I was kind of giving my wife the eye, like, come on, baby, I'm, from, I'm ready. If you could um, turn the music down just a little bit or all. Hallelujah. How many of y'all are glad to be in God's house this morning? Yeah. Amen. Oh, Amen. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Hallelujah. I know it's been such a it's been a trip for us because we went on a on a fast and, and as we fasted everything. Temptation came in like never before. We were being offered food from every angle and, and being, food were being catered at our jobs and people wanted to have meetings with catered food. So every day of our, of our fast, we were approached with opportunity to eat. Yep. And I thank God that we were strong enough to say, not today, I, I, I'm good, I, I don't want anything, you know. So I'm, 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 I'm just honored that we were strong enough to, to make it through. But this morning, we're going to talk about Daniel this morning. We're going to go into a place where the world loves to call it faking it until I make it. But God gave it to me this way, faithing it till I make it. Can somebody say, I'm going to faith it till I make it. Faith it till I make it. <laughs> it, till I make it. And if you can go with me to Daniel 6. Amen. Amen. Daniel 6. Verses 16 through 22. <laughs> Sounds like they're working outside this morning. So the king gave the order, and they brought Daniel and threw him into the lion's den. The king said to Daniel, may your God, whom you serve continually, rescue you. A stone was brought and placed over the mouth of the den, and the king sealed it with his own signet ring and with the ring of his nobles, so that Daniel's situation not, may not be changed. Then the king returned to his palace and spent the night without eating, and without any entertainment being brought to him, and he could not sleep. At the first light of dawn, the king got up and hurried to the lion's den. When he came near the den, he called to Daniel in an anguished voice, Daniel, servant of the living God, has your God, whom you serve continually, been able to rescue you from the lions? Daniel answered, may the king live forever. May God, my God send his angels, and he shut the mouth of the lions. Then, he, then they did not hurt me because I was found innocent in, in their sight. Nor have I ever done anything wrong before you, your majesty. <laughs> so it sounds to me that the king understood who Daniel was. If you look at the previous verses, Daniel was in a place of uh, promotion. The king favored Daniel. He, He's seen things in Daniel that he didn't see in other men, and he said, I, I see something in him, and I, and I want to promote him. And those around Daniel, they begin to chatter. They said, okay, this, 
This guy, he's, he's been found innocent before the king and he's got favor. So we have to find something to, to say about him. We have to find something that's going to prevent this. And the only way that we can do it is by challenging his beliefs in his God. So it sounds to me that it said that at night when the king couldn't sleep or eat or he wasn't entertained, it sounds that the king himself was fasting for, on Daniel's behalf. It said the king couldn't rest, he couldn't eat. He didn't take in any type of entertainment that night. He, and the first thing that he did that morning was go to check on Daniel. So like I said, today's sermon title was Faith in It Till I Make It. Hashtag Lion's Den Faith. How many of you need some Lion's Den Faith this morning? But as I said, there's a slogan that's been going around the world for years and, and people are upset and people are still falling trapped to it today is faking it until I make it. And what we don't understand is when we fake it till we make it, we, we put ourselves in a position for failure. We put ourselves in position for embarrassment and, and we put ourselves in positions to do things that we shouldn't even be trying to do. How many of y'all have felt victim to faking it so we made it. But like I said, it's going to leave you embarrassed eventually and it's going to leave you broke. You're trying to keep up with the trend, so you're going out and you're getting these fancy cars, you're, you're getting the jewelry, you're getting all of this stuff to fit in so when people see you, they see the new things that you have when you're not even capable of that lifestyle. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Faking it till I make it. Faking it until I make it a saying that, that I'm going to act like the knockoff is the real thing. Faking it until I make it. I'm going to act like I can have faith in something else. I can act like me rubbing the belly of this, this, this thing is going to, is going to get, my, get my prayers answered. I can act like that if I bow to these other things that my prayers would be answered. Faking it to make it leaves us in some tight situations. <laughs> and the sad thing is this today, this church has brought the faking it till I make it syndrome inside the church. And they said, I'm going to. I'm going to fake this thing because I don't believe God can, can do what they say God can do. So I'm going to fake. I'm going to pretend when, when the music hits and they dance, I'm going to dance. I'm, I'm going to do the things that they do, but I'm still faking it because I don't believe. I'm going to fake it. So they're saying, I don't believe God can do the things that he can do. So I'm going to come to church every Sunday. I'm going to dress up. I'm going to look the part. I'm going to sound the part, but I'm going to fake it. And all over the world, we have people who are faking it. But like I said, we've been, we've been blessed to learn of an individual named Daniel. <laughs> Daniel had the mindset that I'm going to faith it. With my faith, I'm going to get through. With my faith, my, with my faith in my God, I'm going to... Get through. I'm going to see my way through this thing because my God is faithful. Amen. I, for one, myself, I've learned that faith in it until I make it is the only way out. It doesn't feel good, but it is, it is so needed in the body of Christ. When you are put in a place where you have to exercise faith, it doesn't feel good. It doesn't make you feel like you're, you're on top of the world. It makes you feel like, what am I going to do now? And, and then you have to turn to God and say, Father, I, I trust you. The hardest part about it is, is quieting those whispers that say, what, what if? <laughs> That's why in, in, in Hebrews 11 and 1 it says, now faith. It's the confidence in the things that we hope for, the assurance about what we have not seen. The now faith is what we need. We need to operate in now faith. Now faith. How many of y'all have now faith? And, and you need a dose of now faith this morning because I'm always leaning on faith. Yes. I have a coffee cup about this big and on, on the side of it says faith. Uh -huh. So I, in my mind, I'm saying I'm drinking faith today. Uh -huh. I'm drinking faith today. 
But now let's get to Daniel. If you know the Bible, Daniel was among the, one of the greatest men in the Bible. He was willing to die for his faith. He refused to change who he worshipped and how he worshipped. Even with the threats of his life being taken many times. <laughs> Daniel encountered the lion's den willing to die for something he believed in. The threat of being thrown into the lion's den didn't make him stop his faith. The threat of him being thrown in there knowing that I've done nothing wrong. How many of y'all been thrown in situations where you're like, I, I, I ain't even got nothing to do with this. Uh, I haven't done anything wrong here, but yet you want to throw me in the pit with these lions. Mm -hmm. And if you remember, he also was thrown into the fiery pit. So can you imagine that faith? Can you imagine the faith of Daniel? When they tried to force him to worship a God that didn't exist, he still stood tall saying, no, my faith is in my God. Not in your statues, not, not in your threats of taking my life. My threat, my, my faith is in my God, so I'm going to faith it until I make it. You, See, Daniel understood there were some things that, was, that he was looking at, but he said, there's something that you can't see that I believe in. There's something that you can't see that is stronger than your threats. There's something that you can't see that will not move me because I understand that even though you don't see it, I believe in it because every time that I've been in these situations, he stepped in and saved my life. He said, even if he doesn't, I, I still, my faith will not fail. My faith will not fail me. I, I still will believe if he saves me or if he doesn't, I'm still going to believe in my God. <laughs> Believing in the unseeable. That the things that I can see are not greater. Thank you, Jesus. Faith in it. Faith in it. Till I, till I make it. Yes, I see destruction, but, but my God is bigger. Yes. See, he understood. <laughs> Say, my faith, my faith, my faith is what I need. My now faith is what I need. So the faith of the lion's den pit. Because if we look at TV now, we're being, we're being warned and, 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 and we're going into a war and we're seeing people being killed every day. And now they're saying we, we're, we're on our way to see you. We want to come see the White House now. So, so now I'm sure that everybody is tapping into some type of faith now. Because when destruction comes, you call on somebody. So who are they calling on? That's why we, that's why we take these fasts. This is why we believe in God saying, Lord, I'm, put, I'm turning over my plate, not for me. For the unseen things. I'm trusting you, God, that while I'm hungry, you're giving me strength to cover others that I don't know. See, we, we get it twisted. We, we turn over our place at times for us. Because, Father, I, I'm in need of this thing, so I'm not going to yeah, eat this yeah, way. He said, on. no, I need you to do this for the people who won't do this. Yeah. Thank you, Lord. Faith. Yes. Your faith is, is not for you. Mm. It's good to have, but, but your faith, when someone sees you walking by faith, they say, excuse me, I, I, I understand that you're going through these situations. But you haven't cussed, you haven't given up, you, you haven't done these things. So yes. What's your secret? Yes. And then the opportunity is there for you to say, it is my God. Yes. It is my faith in my God that I know that I know that even though he doesn't show up right now, that, that he's still good. Yes. Thank you, Lord. And we've all been in those places where we was like, Father, I need you now. And, he, and we felt he didn't show up only to see that he brought something better. Yes. Faith in it. Till we make it. We, we have to have the faith to say, okay, if you take this car, mm. I know another one better is on the yeah, way. I, I, I can't know. listen to what people say. You right. should have did this. You should have did that. No, no, no. I believe my God. And I know I might have made a mistake, but my faith has never wavered. So I understand yes, yes. that I have to believe in something that you can't see. Yes. So I'm going to face this thing with my faith. See, some of us, we're, we're in need of lion dens faith. We didn't want to tell others that we were going through. What we were facing was, we didn't want to tell them that what we were facing, it might have looked big to them, but it wasn't big to us. And, and sometimes they, they call us arrogant. People say, oh, you, you walk around here with your, no, I don't. I, you got to understand that I understand that these things are crazy around me, but my God is able. Yeah. My God is able. I don't, I don't want you to, I, I need you to understand that, that even though you say these things behind my back into my faith, my faith will remain. Right, right. That right now faith. 
So here's, here's Daniel in the face of destruction. Remember last week we touched on Jonah for just a little bit, saying he was running for destruction. He was, he was running for the opportunity not to do what he was called to do. But here's Daniel saying, no, no, I'm not running. I'm not running. He said, even though I stand in the face of destruction, even though destruction is looking at me in my eye, even though I can feel it breathing on me, my, my faith is something that I'm not going to let go. Because my faith can get me out of this thing. My, my faith says my God is bigger than this destruction that I'm standing before. He said, I shall not run. I, I shall not pass out. I believe in the book. I believe in the unseeable. I believe in the believer. I'm, my, the, he said, my faith, I'm going to faith it till I make it. So here he is thrown into this lion's den. He said, I'm in a smelly situation. I can, I can smell these lions. I, I can see them. And, and if I want it, I can touch them. I, I can see this destruction. I, I smell destruction. I know it's in my presence. It's in my faith. He said, but no matter what, no matter what, even if I die tonight, my God is still God. If he rescues me, my God is God. He, he said, no matter the situation, the outcome, he said, my God is still God. And this is what we have to believe when we get put in these situations yes. that no matter what, my God is still God. Yes, yes. He understood that no matter what, my God is still God. Yes. Thank you, Lord. So in life, we all grow through these things. We, we have to grow into an understanding. We have, to, we have to go through things. We have to face these things. We have to know that these things are here to help us understand that God is God. God is God. So I ask you today, where are you at in your growth? Jesus. Do you still feel that there may be another way out? Jesus. Do you still think there's an, another God that you can call on? Yeah. Do you feel that there's another God? I need to ask this question today because Daniel said, my faith in my God. So are you, are you believing in his God or are you believing in these guys that they're selling on TV or, or the, the guys that they're putting in these little bottles and these guys that they're saying, all you got to do he said, my God is God. Yeah. If he rescues me or not, he's done it before. So, and he's brought me through situations. So I'm going to stand on my faith in my God. Because hmm. if you're believing in another God this morning, I, I, I stand here boldly to tell you, prepare for your destruction. Prepare for the failure to come in and just overtake you because if you're believing in that God, that, that quick, that, that microwave dinner God. Yes. Yeah. That's what we believe in. We, we, we come to church and we believe that God is going to do it tonight. Right. If you come up here with your hundred dollars, I, I, I need your faith to increase it. I, I hear God saying a thousand dollars. Get in line and, and if you give me a thing, if you sow a thousand dollars tonight, it's going to turn around by in the morning. And you sow that seed and, yeah. and you believe in it and then you wake up in the morning yeah. and it still happens. He said, I'm not a genie. Mm -hmm. Daniel said, I, I'm not serving a genie. I'm, I'm serving a God. I'm serving a God and I understand that he is the only, he is the only God. If you remember last week, he said that I'm the only God. Yes. None before me and there will be none after me. Be none after me. I, I am the only one. Choose today who you serve. He said, I'm the only one. It's up to you. So sometimes you got to know no matter what that your God is God. So you got to faith this thing out until you make it through. You, you got to faith your way through this thing. Amen. He said, I walk by, not by sight, but by faith. Amen. We have to be faith walkers. We have to walk by faith. Even though we see all these things, Jesus. my faith says, yes, I see you. Right. But my God's got me. Thank you, Lord. Faith walkers. Yes, faith walkers. They, they survive certain things. We, we see through Daniel's life that if you walk by faith, you survive things. You're a survivor. The lion's den. He's, he's thrown into this lion's den. And he said, no matter what, I'm, I'm going to stand. I'm, I'm going to believe in my faith. Because my faith is the only way out of this thing. I, I understand it. I understand this. So if the clouds break and I see his faith, it was my faith. He knew that, that even though if, if, if I die tonight, my faith is going to allow me to see my father. 
He said, I'm, I'm, I'm sitting here and, I, and, I'm, and you're telling me about promotion. And now I'm finding myself thrown in this lion's den. Yes. See, we got to understand, he, he wasn't in the presence of Mustafa and, and, and Simba. He wasn't. He, he, when you see lions, I need you to understand, he right. was thrown in with killer Jesus. lions. Yeah. He was placed in an atmosphere that was trained to kill. Anything that entered the room that was not like them, destroy it. It is our food. Jesus. He was thrown into this place. But Daniel said, he, he said, I know the true lion. He said, I know the real lion king. I, I know the real lion of Judah. He's going he's gonna to keep me. Mm -hmm. See, understand why Daniel was in this thing with the lions. He's, he's got the king on his side. Amen. The king said, I, I see no wrong in this man. I, I want to give him promotion. That's why he said, are you still believing? Are you still believing in that God that you talk to kind, uh, continuously? Yes. He said, I understand that you speak to your God continuously. Are you still speaking to him? Because I'm about to put you in a place that only your God can save you from. Lord. So what am I saying? I'm saying God is about to put us in a place that only he can save us from. Jesus. Mm. These situations where we're in position for promotion and, and people are in position for promotion with us. But where he's leading us to, they're not coming. And so since they see that, oh, she's getting something extra. They're getting a little extra with their promotion. So we got to bash them. Mm -hmm. So they go around trying to bash you. And people say, no, not them. I, I know her. She don't do that. She don't act like that. She don't party. She don't drink. She don't do nothing. Mm -hmm. What y'all talking about? So they say, okay, we can't, we can't mess with her character. So let's test her on her God. Mm -hmm. See, I don't think y'all understand. Your faith has brought you into a new character. Oh, Jesus. Because if they knew who we were, we forget that we have a new character now. When people see us in these situations, they say, how in the world? Because I know how they used to be. I get phone calls, they say, man, I'm proud of you, man. Because I think about the stuff we used to do, I'm proud of you. So my character has been changed because of my faith walk. So I'm faith in this thing until I make it. Make it where? To see my father's yeah. face. I, I'm not trying to get no houses. I'm not right. trying to get no cars. I need to clear this up. I'm not trying to get more money. My, my goal is to see my father's yeah. feet. Yeah. Yeah. I don't even think I'm going to see his face. Because <laughs> when I hear that voice, I'm going to fall on my face. Hallelujah. I'm going to fall on my face. I'm, I'm going to fall into my tears. And my tears are going to be the only at all. Say my faith. I faithed it till I made it. I, I made it. I'm yes. here. I'm God. here. Yes. See, we, we got to faith this thing. Y'all faith walkers. Jesus. So like I said, Daniel understood that he knew the real Lion King. So I'm telling you all in this room today that the promotion is here. That's why things are getting rocky. This is why things are feeling strange. This is why all the distraction is coming. This is why all the attacks are coming out of nowhere. This is why those that are closest to you are constantly telling you that you can't do what you were set out to do because they don't want to see you do what God has called you to do. They want control. They want to be able to say it was me. It was me. Yeah, you believe in God, but if I wouldn't have gave you that to get over there. Yeah, you believe in God, but if I wouldn't have said this. Yeah, you believe in God, but if I wouldn't have gave you shelter. Yeah, but you believe in God, but if I wouldn't have let you borrow my car. Yes, you believe in God, but I'm going to fade you the other night. See, these people want credit, so they're saying we can't test their character. Yes. So let's test them with their God. Jesus. You're in the lion's den. Mm. You're looking at all of this stuff. And you're saying, man, I, 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 I have the opportunity to die tonight. Jesus. Come on, but Lord. I still believe in you, Father. We've all been thrown in places that we should die. People have put us in atmospheres to destroy us. People have set us up for destruction for so long. Jesus. With a smile on their face. Right. So anything you need, I, I got you. Absolutely. I'm here for you. I, I need you to know I'm here for you. I need you to understand that if that whatever it is. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And they push you in there with the lions. Yep. And then they come like the king did the next morning, calling on your name just mm -hmm. to see how you're going to respond. Daniel, did you survive? Right. Bringing you into a place of destruction. But he said, I'm approving a promotion. I'm preparing to set you over some things. 
God said, I'm preparing to set you over. Some things, promotion is on your way, so I need you to understand. It's like he told Daniel, he said, the king said, I, I like this man because he has exceptional qualities. <laughs> he said, he's not like the others. He has exceptional qualities. He, he carries himself different. He, he talks different. When I'm in his presence, I feel better. He said, this is the person that I need to rule. I'm going to turn it all over to him. So God is saying, I'm turning some things over into your Jesus. hands. Jesus. Because Jesus. I know that I know that you're going to do it for me and not for your own glory. You. Why? Because you've been through destruction. We, we've lost some things. We, we've been put in the corner and we've been all alone and we've been feeling like it has no way out. God, it's only you because the yes. people that say they love me, every yes. time they open their mouth, they're bashing me. Every time they, they open their mouth, they're pushing me down low. They're keeping me in this cage. They're keeping me here with these lions. But you said to God, you got me. And I believe that you got me. So he said, now I can set you over some things. Because in the past, when you thought you was ready and, and you stepped out before me, we've all thought we were ready and we stepped out before me when they gave them opportunity to say, I told you. But God was still God. God was still loving. God was still giving us strength. God was still standing in there saying, no, yes. your faith. It is your faith that entertains me. It is your faith that calls me. He said, your faith keeps me near you. Your faith keeps me by your side. Your faith makes it when you open your mouth, I hear your yes. voice. Your faith walk is what keeps me saying, try this now. Try this yes. now. Here you go. Try this now. Your faith, your faith. Thank Nothing you, else. Jesus. Nothing else. Faith. He said, you got to faith it till you make it. You got to walk this thing by faith. Because we're seeing things that we want. We want it. I'm going to be honest because we're human. We see these things and we say, well, God, you know why? You know why? Why, why, why we can't get this? We ask that sometimes. And if we only knew why he didn't give it to us. Amen. There's things we got that, that, we, that they're gone now. Mm -hmm. Sometimes he says, hey, I'm going to give it to you, but I just need you to see that you're not going to keep it long. Because yep. it's not my will. Yeah, amen. He said, but I'm your father. You know, as a father, I have to give you things sometimes. And I have to let you learn from the experience. So when we're sitting here in our lion's den, in a place that we should have died, and people are upset at us because we didn't die. People are upset. They're mad because they, that they tried everything that they could Woo. with their God-loving selves. Mm -hmm. I would love to say there were some people from the streets, but it wasn't. It, it is not all the time. It's not the people of the streets. It's the people that we raise our hands with. It's the people that yes. we pray with. It's the people that we clap with. It's yes. those people that cut their eyes over and say, it's something about yes. them I don't like. Yes. Yep. And because of their faith, they're going to be promoted fast. So we've got to do something. Oh, Jesus. So they're mad at us today because they do something that didn't work. Jesus. They threw us in the lion pit and said, hey, did you survive? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Did, did, you, did you make it? I'm just checking on you. Hey, Jesus. want to see how you're doing today? They, they, didn't, they was hoping that there was no sound coming mm -hmm. from you. They said, we've done everything. We've stoned you even. We, we've thrown you in the fire pit. We, and, but, but there's somebody in there with you. Amen. My Lord. <laughs> How is it that, we, that every time we do this to you, you survive? It's by my faith. Because my faith says, yes, I'm down. My faith says, yes, I'm up. Yes, it may look like I'm alone, but I know my God is with yes. me. There's not a day that goes by that I don't think about the friends I used to have. And I'm like, God, I, I thank you. Because some of them only meant my destruction. Some of them were brave enough to do it in my face. And some of them were smart enough to do it behind my back. But he, he knew I had to separate you. Because your faith, your faith, your faith. Your faith. Walk in this thing by faith. That lion's den faith. That when we're in the face of the, the today can be the last day. We say, God, I still believe in you. Because I know that you are still God. I know that there's none to come, that there's none before you, and there's none to come after you. Yes. And I said, and I know, I know, I know that by my faith in you, the creator of everything, the, the one who has led me through these things before, you're not going to fail me now. He says, try me. That's the kind of God that we serve. He says, try me, because I'm the king. 
They're going to attack your character, but trust in me. Mm. Our character is always under attack, and, and we don't even know it. That's yeah. so why when we walk in the room and it gets silent and everybody has that silly look on their face, it lets you know that, oh, I must have been the topic of the story this morning. Mm -hmm. And that one person, hey, hey. Mm -hmm. We were just talking about you. Mm -hmm. I know. <laughs> I know. But God said they're going to try to attack your, your character because you have exceptional qualities. Mm -hmm. We've withstood some, we, we've withstood some things that other people didn't. Mm -hmm. we've, we've withstood some things that people did to us and we've withstood some things that we did to ourselves. Yeah. <laughs> I'll never forget, I was, I was teens, maybe early 20s, I was doing so much that I was like, my, my life would be better if, if I wasn't here because my parents, they, they don't even have joy on their face no more. I started contemplating suicide and, and I remember one time I, I contemplated driving my car into other cars because I, I just felt like this is the solution. So I wrestled for, with suicide for a whole summer. Because of the things around me, I didn't know who God was at the time, but he knew who I was. And I thank God Amen. that he knew who you all were when you were in that place where yeah. you said, okay, this is the land. I can't take no more of this. This is what I'm going to do to solve this problem. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Lord. This is why. This is why all those nights that I left the club drunk and don't remember how I got there when I wake up in the morning saying, how did I get what? here? This is how all the times that I went to these places to get product, to make money, nobody robbed me when they were standing outside the door asking me where I was from. This is why, because God knew who I was. God knew who you were when you were sitting in your places saying, okay, these pills is my answer. Okay, this razor is my answer. Okay, laying down with these boys is my answer. Okay, going out here robbing people is the answer. Okay, all of this, this is the answer. This is the answer because I know it eventually it's going to catch up with me and I'm just going to die. Yeah. But God said, I knew who you were. Mm -hmm. Before you were in your mother's womb, yes. I was with you. Yes. We forget this. Before you were in your mother's womb, I myself was with you, sharing things with you, equipping you for this fight, knowing that on this day you were going to attempt this and I was going to be right there with you, that everything that you thought was going down your throat, I was wiping it away. Jesus. That every boy that you thought was going to, that, that, that disease was finally going to get on you, I, I wiped it right away. Mm. We don't understand who God is. He, he's always been there. Faith. In us. He, he has faith in us. See, he says by faith, but he also has faith in us to say, okay, I can send you now. I can trust you now. I have faith in you. That's why he says, have you tried my servant? Y'all understand? He has faith in us saying, have you tried? That's why we're going through these things because he just stepped up and said, okay, yeah, you're trying them, but have you tried my servant, Erica? My Lord. Have you tried her? I promise you she's not going to curse me. She, she might make some faces, but she ain't going to curse me. Because I know her. Before she was formed in her mother, I knew her. When, when she was going through those things, she, even though she was going through, she always had an encouraging word for somebody else. I knew her. Have, have you tried Donna? Because you know Donna, she's going through some things, and, and she likes to do it. So have you tried her? Because when he's like, well, you can try her, but I understand that she has been so through much that, that you ain't even going to face her. It ain't going to phase her no more. See, you understand these revolving doors. We, we see the same thing over and over again. The enemy doesn't have any tricks. He doesn't have tricks. He, he says revolving doors. Okay, let me try this. Let me make her son say something. Let me make her daughter do something. Let me make her family say something. That revolving door continues to come around because the Lord says, look, I'm, I'm not going to allow you to do nothing new to them. I'm not going to allow you to destroy them. So you can try the old tricks just to let you see that they've grown from that. They don't club no more. They don't smoke no more. They don't, they don't drink no more. They're not out here scouting no more. Trying to, they're, they're changed by faith. By the faith. By faith in it to be made. And we're at a different place now. We're making it out of the pit that we used, used to be in. So I understand. Daniel said, I, I believe in my God. My God is God. And he was still, I mean, think about this. If we look at verse he never lost his character. He, he, he never lost his character. He, 
Okay. In verse 21, you know, understand he's been thrown in this into the, with the lions. He's been thrown in with the lions. Daniel answered, may the king live forever. My God sent his angels and he shut the mouths of the lions. They have not hurt me because I was found innocent in, his, in their sight. Nor have I done anything wrong before you, your majesty. His character, even though he was thrown in this lion's to die, he still said, no, no your majesty. Mm. May the king live forever. Right. Wow. So when they test you to see if your character has changed after they thrown you into these situations, how will you respond? <laughs> Daniel said, oh yeah, my... I didn't do nothing wrong in your sight. I didn't do nothing wrong in my God's sight. So, of course I'm still alive. So when they come to you saying, to see how you're going to respond, will you believe that I ain't done nothing in your sight wrong and I ain't done nothing in the Lord's sight wrong, so I'm sorry, your trick didn't work. Your setup didn't work. But God said, I, 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 because of your character, because every time that they said things about you to your face, every time they, that they put their foot on you when you were wounded, every time that they, that they told people stuff that you asked them not to share, he said, because of all of this and you're still here, believing in me, that I am God. <laughs> he said, now I can put you over some things. Now I can put you over some things, meaning now those things that were bothering you, now they're beneath you. Amen. Now those things that used to work, they won't work no more because they're now under his feet. He said, now I'm putting you with, I'm going to bring you up here with me so you can see that you're, you're bigger than this now. So when they try it now, don't even say nothing. Don't even lose your character. Just speak with Ellie like you're a kingdom kid. Don't call him your majesty because they might take that wrong, but just let them know, man. No ma'am, no sir. So he's saying, never lose your character. Walk by faith. Because your faith, every step that we've took, every, every step that we've took by faith, we, we've changed. Something about us changed. Our faith is stripping us down of those things that, that people would, that used to remind people. But now when they look at us, they, they always say that strange thing. You look good. What am I supposed to look like? <laughs> You thought all that stuff you were saying about me was going to destroy me? Why are you so surprised? You, you're looking surprised about this thing. Like I'm supposed to be out here with a sign hanging up, talking about we'll work for food, we'll do something, <laughs> or, or retire something. No, 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 my God is God. Yes, Lord. So of course I look good. Because I got his character. I, I'm an image of him, a, re, a reflection of my God. So yes, sorry I look good, yeah. But God is saying, because we've operated in this lion's den faith, just to know that they're going to continue to attack our character and our relationship with him. This is why on our jobs we have strange conversations with people. People talk about God just to try to get a rise out of you. But he's saying, understand this. They're going to try your character. And they're going to test your relationship. He said things are changing to test your relationship with him. So understand now is the time to operate in your hashtag. Mm -hmm. Lions Den Faith. Because I would love to say that things are going to get easier. I would love to say that. But he's saying no, now is the time that you can really walk by faith. Because destruction is on the way. But you got to remember that God is God. That our God is God. No matter what. This is why we went through all of these trials in life. Up until this point. We, if, we can, if I pass this mic around, we would be in tears listening to each other's stories. But we're here today because our God is God. And we've done no wrong in his sight. And he's saying not even the lions can touch you. 
Not even those that sit above you. Not even those that, that in high places can, can say things to, to have you taken away. He said, because I'm God. And you're my child. Father, I thank you for everything that you said today. I thank you for lions in the faith, Father God. Father, I thank you for allowing us to stand in the presence of lions and, and see that you're still God. I thank you, Father, for every trial that we went through to show us that our character is growing each time that we walk by faith. So, Father, today I ask that you just continue to grow our faith. Don't let us walk away from faith. Don't let anything come between me and you, Father God, and, or you and them, Father God. We ask you today, Father, to continue to cover us. So, Father, we thank you for allowing us to, to believe in you and to put everything in your hands and to lay everything at your feet, Father God. We, we thank you for that opportunity to say that even though these things are in my face and even these things are in my life, I can give them to you. So, Father, we thank you for standing in the gap. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Give God some praise.